Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This is going to be a continuation of the last, uh, the previous video I did on a net. I thought I was, I talked to you guys that I wanted to make a video without using the anchor on this build. Um, if it's your first time watching this, uh, make sure you watch the previous video, which is where I explain this build and everything, how it works. I think the title is, uh, strongest net build, something like that. Uh, it's definitely the most fun as well. So this is me playing the, you see right there, the equipment I was using. I'm using the variation where I use the resilient skin. I, I thought this was the best, either the resilient uh, the resilient skin, which I have level three there, or with the fresh blood. Always want to have fresh blood, level three as well, or the uh, the book for Birking. I, I I would probably use one of those two. I I, th I think it would be the strongest, either with the book or with the resilience resilient skin like I'm using right now. And um. And yeah, the deck is still the same like I showed on a previous video. It's just that instead of using the anchor, and I'm I'm, I'm also not using the mod for Birkin. Instead of using those two, I'm I'm using more creatures. You know, it's that you see here is like my deck is like completely, pretty much completely full of creatures and uh, very cheap ones as well. Uh, also, one thing, another thing I wanted to show in the last video that I think it didn't it didn't get shown enough was the invincibility bite. So. This video, I'll probably be able. I have two matches in this video, so you guys will probably be able to see that better. <laughs> and you see right there. Usually, the cam I only have like the discount in the cameras. Now, the reason why I'm spawning the zombies here is really just for <laughs> no particular reason. I'm I'm just like trying to, you know, maybe get some a few hits, you know, get them to waste a little bit of the resources. But uh, it was not not something like super strategic or anything like that. It was just me, you know, throwing things at at them because I can essentially. You see right there, I'm, like I'm trying to spawn the zombies behind them. I mean, right there, you see how I grabbed the uh, Martin? That right there is an invincibility bite. He, he can finish the entire bite before anyone can uh, save the, the Martin right there. So that's how you want to do it. You always spawn the zombies close to them, like especially when they're shooting other, they're distracted and doing other things. That's how you want to spawn the creatures. Not, not just like in front of them, but uh, kind of on top of them, especially when they're distracted. And you see, this is how you use the discount. Uh, when you have a lead, you see right there, I had, I had like three energy. That's when you, you, more would be ideal, but that's when you want to use a discount. When you have more than, you see right there, buying, uh, biting the, <laughs> the Martin again with the invincibility. And right there, you, you can also control the zombies and you like, you see, you finish them off while they're getting uh, bitten by the others. And you can, you can also chain bite, but uh, usually I just keep hitting, them. especially the grab with the invincibility. It takes so long that you can, you know, like you see with the Martin there, probably kill it. I see it right there again. That was an AI grab, but I can still control another creature and uh, keep hitting them while they're getting grabbed. Those are, that's how you mostly going to get the kills using this build. You should right there again, <laughs> biting the, the backup with the invincibility is, is pretty fun. And uh, because of the cameras and everything, they're also getting affected, you know, from the hits. So it's really good. Getting energy back as well with the energy leech. Cause uh, you, like this build, like you can spam so easily, it's, it's really no big deal if the zombies get killed. You just want to like keep, you know, slowly getting hits right there. And you see, it's also very good if you want to use uh, this attack, like ambush attack, and the invincibility bite when they are um, trying to heal each other as well. Is a good time to do that because they have to like, you know, kneel down and, and stay still for a second. So that gives time enough to uh, for the creature to to spawn and bite them before they can kneel back up from the floor <laughs> and see like they're like it's not like a, a super like time focused build like eating their time away the infection definitely helps eating their time away because but because they're they're killing so many creatures usually you know they're still getting time back but uh you know it still works cause they just get too overwhelmed you know especially with the invincibility grabs and uh from dying and just like that they they usually um they um they lose the match because a, a bite as well is going to give you 15 seconds right not not considering if they get infected from it so a 15 seconds is essentially the time they would get back for killing three creatures so they would have for every bite they take they would have to kill three creatures to compensate for that in terms of time but you see right there that was like an area one match but on area two is, is where it gets better because you get that special card right there with the the zero cost zombie the spam just gets so much better. Now this this build this magic I think it's the same map, but it's different people. 
Now, especially when they're at the exit door, I think this match will, will sh showcase that. It's really fun to just like spawn on top of them because they're like standing still waiting for the to exit the, the area. It's pretty fun. I, I probably, this was probably the match that, that it, if I remember correctly, that it happened. I, I kind of almost killed everyone at the exit door. It was pretty fun. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but yeah, mostly I've been using this build now uh, without the anchor and uh, without the mod for Birkin. Because, I don't know, Birkin's kind of bad, honestly. So I don't really like using him. So I'm just using the resilient skin to um, make the zombies a little stronger. You know, maybe they kind of run run out of resources more often because they're gonna have to do more more damage. You know, more hits, more shots to kill the zombies. Uh, I'll try to take notice here. Let's see if they actually run out of resources by the time they get to the exit when they try to like switch the areas. Oh, and by the way, I'm I'm using the um my uh, preset mod. You see, you see like how how I'm spreading the zombies here. That's so I can try to get those little surprise bites. You don't want to like spawn the zombies at the same spot every time. Right there, you see um the uh, the uh, fresh blood doing work on the equipment. The AI just grabbing them constantly. If you if you use the two fresh bloods, which I mentioned on the previous video, like it was also a possible variation. They it's like it's really tough. Like they they grab a lot more often. Like every like three three attempts, two two will be like you see right there. Like just cutting off a little bit here. How I spawn the the creatures on the door. That's how you want to do it. When they're about to open the door, you just spawn the zombie behind them. It gets the invisibility grab for free if they try to go to the animation of opening the door. It's, it's, and it's actually it's kind of hard. It's like a Spencer with the level three lock in a way because you know if they try to open the door, they get bitten for from the creature that's getting up. And if they don't try to open the door, you just keep spamming more and more, and then they can't open the door because there's so many zombies around. So, you know, it always kind of stops them in you know, one way or the other. And you see right there, chaining bites. As soon as you see the AI getting getting hits like that, getting bites, you can always control a zombie and uh, do something uh, simultaneously. And you see, I have the dealer as well now on my deck. So she, she, if you can control her and get the triangle bites there, which she does like a lot of swings, it will be much better. There's a lot of damage. Take their money away. Take time away. It's so good. Now you see, this is a good example as well. He's using the. I think it's Kashima, the name of this weapon. It's a good weapon against creatures overall. You see how he completely ignored everything just because of that weapon. However, he, he, the Kashima wastes a lot of um, uh, repair kits. So, you see, right, like I'm spawning the zombie there. And he got grabbed. It's just like that. <laughs> that's that's how you want to do it. <laughs> that's pretty fun. And remember, like, when he's getting grabbed like that, I, ca I can still control other zombies and hit him when he's uh, during the animation of getting grabbed. The biting is, is going to get them the most infected as well as taking the most time away. And, you know, doing the most damage at the same time. You see, like, this is what I mean when they're at the exit like this, waiting. She, 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 she got grabbed, like, instantly there. <laughs> and now there's the ivy there as well. And you see, like, like, like in five seconds, there's, like, completely swarm of zombies. That's really good. And everyone just keeps spawning, as you can tell. They're still spawning and just getting grabbed from the zombies uh, getting up with invincibility. I see like everything is just complete chaos. <laughs> That's so fun. And you can keep spawning because you're still getting energy back, especially if you have the energy leech. You see now I use the camera so everyone is infected. You see like it's completely out of control. <laughs> it's pretty fun. <laughs> They're like stuck in a corner with like 30 zombies around them. With the fresh blood, they, they, they never stop biting as well. So It's very fun. And see, like this is when is when you how you want to you, you want to use the discount when you have like a lot of energy. And see, I can spawn everything and costing one, and the energy is still respawning as I'm spending the energy at the same time too. So um, I'm gonna try to buy him. I don't think I'm gonna get him here. Yeah, I needed a little bit more, more sprint there to get him. But he's alone, so you never want to do this, because now you, I can easily chain by him. If, he, if he's alone like this. See, I'm doing the stun with the first swing, and while he's stunned, I'm trying to grab him. He he might he might have the the passive perk where Tyrone cannot get grabbed when he's running, so maybe that's... I, I was thinking that in my head right now as I failed to grab there. 
Let's see, I always remember to control your zombies. It's really you can do a lot more. They can be a lot more effective when you're actually controlling them. I I just usually like I spam a lot of them, and then I, I go control one because there's a limit to how many creatures you can spawn, right? So once you hit that limit, that's a perfect time to control a creature. I also like to spawn like the max number of creatures before spawning uh, Birkin, because that way they get you know to work around like they have to do with the creatures. With the max creatures, like to a 10, like creatures at the same time in the map, 8, and still burking like on top of them. Like right now, I'm really not trying to win as much because I, I, I mean, you know, like right now, I'm not trying to win. I'm actually waiting for her to kill the, the creatures so the match can continue because I, so I can have a little bit more fun. Because uh, usually you win kind of quickly with this build, she's just gonna get grabbed. <laughs> It's like, it's really hard to heal against this weapon, this build, if you uh, spawn the zombies like that. But yeah, I was I think I was trying to actually allow them to get to Area 3 here. I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but my idea here was really just stalling a little bit so I can have more fun with them before I win. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it's super fun. Yeah, and you can see I'm not using the anchor and see my energy as well. It's, it doesn't make that big of a difference. The fact that the anchor is not clunk in your hand is actually like, I feel like it's better than uh, what I showed on the previous video there. And here, when they open doors as well, the zombies on the other side usually grab them also because of the fresh blood. He's trying to ignore the zombies, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna control the... The cashier here, so I can get the big grab. And yeah, I mean, it's not much they can do. And right now, I think I'm gonna finish it, but I was trying to actually stall the game, let them do something. Because I don't think like anyone ever got to area three against me using this build, so it's kind of I I I kind of want to see how it is, you know. But uh, I mean, I guess it's too much to ask. I really want to get like a really really good sw sweaty SWAT team, but. I've got people with really high levels, but they still die anyway to this build, so I don't know. It's just too overwhelming. Um, but yeah, guys, this is a video I want to show you guys show, show you guys the without the anchor and what I think are the best variations. Uh, so yeah, that's how you, how it looks without the anchor and without the mod for breaking. I probably think it's the best version. But yeah, that's the video. Take care. See you guys in the next one.